Look, sleep. So, so, so this is people think I don't like sleep or I don't support sleep or I think you know, you, and it's not true. And and I would say when people, oh, you think you're. You're, you're giving people advice that's unhealthy. Here's the actual advice that I give people from the book. Sleep is a necessity. Humans need sleep. Failure to get enough sleep has serious side effects. Lack of sleep can cause negative hormonal changes, interfere with the metabolizing glucose of glucose, increase blood pressure, and suppress the immune system. Less sleep also means less human growth hormone in your body, which means less muscle mass and weaker bones. Mentally, the brain is impacted as the ability to pay attention and concentrate begins to diminish and problem solving and basic reasoning becomes less acute. Furthermore, over an extended period, there are psychological effects like paranoia and even hallucinations. So, so that's me talking about sleep. You need to sleep. Yeah. I'm not anti-sleep. Isn't there a thing called a fast sleeper? I yes. read something yeah, about that. We'll, we'll get you there. Know. We'll get there. So, yeah. so, so, so check this out. But how much sleep is enough? Different people need different amounts of sleep. Newborns can sleep up to 17 hours a day. Toddlers can sleep 12 hours a day. As people grow older, less sleep is required. Teens generally need eight to 10 hours. And by the time people are full of adults, eight hours becomes the standard. Even though the actual number is between seven and nine hours depending on the individual. Some people genetically need even less sleep than that, but those people are rare. I'm one of those people. And this isn't, I'm, I don't have the proof. Well, here's my proof. I guess not even proof. My oldest daughter is like me. Like last night she was studying. She went to bed at midnight. I woke up at 4.30. She's up. And then she took an exam. Cognitive, not impaired, right? She's going to get an A. Sure. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, but, but my second daughter, that girl likes to sleep. Like she'll get out of bed when you go drag her out of bed, right? Like mm. she likes to sleep. Mm. My son, kind of, kind of normal, I would say. Yeah. My wife, she digs that sleep. Yeah. So some of my kids get some of it. My youngest daughter, she's sort of a little bit. I would she likes that sleep too. Yeah. But but so there is so so I think there is some sort of genetic thing. Mm -hmm. Um, here's an. But it's it. Uh, people also go well. You, 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 it's so rare. There's no chance that you have it. Okay, cool. I'm only. I can only tell you. People like people say sleep more. I I, I I'm I'm not trying to sleep less i'm more than happy to sleep you know but it just doesn't happen mm. uh, so going on here but it isn't only genetics you can also sleep less and fall asleep faster if you are in good physical condition eating clean and have a clear mind for me the better condition i'm in and the cleaner i eat the more quickly i will fall asleep and the less sleep i need do you notice this do you notice yeah. that you need less sleep when you're fasting um i i don't notice but I'm not paying attention to that. Okay, I like when I'm when I'm fasting. I'm, I feel like I'm on fire. For real? Yeah, huh. and I I just did a fast. I just did a 48 hour, <laughs> and I feel I felt like again like I was waking up earlier than I normally wake up. Yeah. Uh, so while I do have short sleep genetics on my side, equally important is that I stay healthy and eat clean. What about when you eat junk? How don't you need to sleep more? Oh, uh, yeah, but actually, you know what? It's real, real inconsistent when you eat junk. Or oh, sorry, when I eat junk, mm -hmm. it's sometimes I'll sleep less, but be wanting to sleep more. But you know the kind like you're oh. tired and you feel sleepy, but you can't like go to sleep. You know, oh, yeah. it's like that. It, there's a lot of that That's going on. That's the worst. I think. Oh yeah, I, I agree. You and feel like you wish you would sleep more, yeah. but you can't. You kind of can't. Yeah. Just get up. Yeah, exactly. Just right. get up. And feel like crap or whatever and sort of, you know, maybe catch the next wave of sleepiness, mm -hmm. I guess. The and on the inverse when you're talking about like when you exercise consistent, you eat clean or whatever and it's really different where and it's real real clear where you feel freaking solid during the day and then once that bedtime ish kind of rolls around, you just feel the wave just crash yeah. and you're like, "Oh, yeah. it's it's sleep time." So straight good. up. So oh, yeah. good. Yeah, it's real. Just when you like, worked out hard, you had a good day, you ate clean. Yeah. You get to the end of the day, you're like, boom, you're out. Bro, that's how I was yesterday, and I and I got like an hour less sleep than I normally did the day before. So, mm -hmm. but I got up solid, boom, eating good. Yeah. Now that we're thinking about this, when I have like those weird roller coaster brain rides, 
that's usually that's usually when I'm like something's messed up, you know, yeah. whether I'm eating crap or or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, it's the kind of like I do quizzes in story time for with the kids mm-hmm. before bed every mm-hmm. night. This is like what eight o'clock, eight thirty, mm-hmm. bro. It was the time like it's the kind of in the middle of a question that I'm asking. It's you fall, fall asleep, asleep yep. straight up. That's a yeah. good day right there. Yeah, it's like That's okay, awesome. it's about bedtime, you know. Yeah, I I've I've had that where when my kids were little and I was still in the dorms and Dude. you know you're just getting up at four thirty you're doing whatever you're doing at work come home, you know and you're just get in bed to read that story next thing you know it's three o'clock in the morning four <laughs> o'clock in the morning what just happened yeah. my wife left me in there because she was running around with three kids at the time you know uh-huh. trying to get them all squared away she like oh you got the kid cool she probably went to a bar i don't know what she did no, she, no that girl <laughs> went to break. sleep she used to fall asleep with some one kid almost every night it was crazy yeah. uh so going on here and finally i choose not to sleep in i don't give into the pillow i don't give into the temptation of warm blankets or soft pillow i mobilize the will to get me out of bed and get into the game Obviously, I'm an advocate of waking up early, but since sleep must be a priority to maintain health, how can we get enough sleep and still wake up early? The answer is simple. Go to bed earlier. Go to bed earlier. Now, I'm going to skip a little bit here, go forward. Well, this is, I talk about some of the benefits. Like, what are the benefits? Why do I wake up early? And I mean, first, there's some simple math, but why do you wake up early? The world is yours when you're up before the enemy. There's no traffic, the gym is empty. There's no one to distract you or call you or send you some stupid text about something you don't care about. So there's like it's all these benefits to, to being up early. But then going back to the other point, falling asleep. How do you fall asleep? So this is kind of what we were just talking about. Number one, and there's a whole section, I'm gonna read some highlights of it. Number one, get tired. Yes, get tired. If you are not active throughout the day, you won't be tired. You know what's weird is recording the podcast, depending on the podcast, I'm usually super wired when we get done recording, mm-hmm. and then I'm tired. Yeah. You know, it's a, yeah. mental, it's a mental work. Yeah, fully. Uh, number two, turn off the computer. Turn off the smartphone. Stop checking social media and stop watching one more YouTube video. Sure, there's some science that says that the light from the computer and phone screen tricks your mind into thinking it is daylight and time to get up. But on top of that, the internet is filled with professionals that create content with the sole purpose of getting you to click on it. Yes, clickbait is real. And just like the bait used in fishing, it is a trick to get you hooked. So don't, don't click it. You will get nothing positive at all. Number three, read. If your mind is still active when you reach your bedtime, that's okay, get into bed and get a book and start reading. Reading is relaxing, it settles your mind and makes you smarter, so do it. Dude, reading will, reading, I think reading is a massive sleep aid. Yeah, yeah, every once in a while, like you'll, (laughs) not every once in a while, most of the time, actually in my experience, because I wouldn't be reading a boring book, unless it's for a specific purpose, but usually they're interesting books. Mm-hmm. So at first I might be like, oh, kind of excited. Yeah. But yeah, man, after, and it depends on the day or whatever, but it can be like after like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I, You know the kind of books I read because I read them on the podcast all the time. I'm talking about books about war and combat and the most yeah. dynamic, heroic situations. Yeah. Like even those books, <laughs> if I'm reading, I'll be like, oh, if it's nighttime and I'm reading, I'll, I will get tired. I'll fall asleep. Yeah, I mean, really. I, I won't. I, I don't fall asleep while I'm reading. I rarely do that. But I'll be like, okay, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna shut the book and go yeah. to bed. Oh yeah, then that's exactly what I'm saying. Where maybe at first, if it's a, like super interesting or exciting or whatever book, you're like, at first, you're like, oh man, let's get some reading yeah. going. You know about this whatever you're reading about, and then yeah, after like I said, it depends on how your state of mind is. But as far as time goes, but yeah, after a little while. Bro, you ready? You ready to, to go sleep? I just, got, I just got done reading a book for the podcast that it was it was it was a book that I like was actively couldn't sleep because I just was like I'm gonna read this, more of this because I want to know what's yeah. about to happen. It's that, freaking that's a crazy. Thing for sure. uh, number four, most important, the key to getting to sleep early is getting up early. 
No, it might not help you tonight, but tomorrow night it will. If you need seven full hours of sleep and you want to get up at 4.30 a.m., that means you need to go to bed at 9.30 p.m. But it is hard to force yourself to sleep at 9.30. So you stay up until 11.30. You should still get up at 4.30. Yes, that will only be five hours of sleep. And yes, you will likely feel tired throughout the day, which is actually good because at the end of the day, you want to be tired. Now you can go to bed at 9.30 and get yourself back on track. Yeah. That's that's the part that people. If you want to be tired at night at nine thirty, you need to get up early. You can't you can't get up at nine in the morning and expect to be tired at nine at night. It won't happen. Yeah. And the last thing is do it every day, right? Mm-hmm. And this is like you know weekends, whatever. Just do the same time. Look, if you want to give yourself an extra half an hour, I don't even recommend that. I recommend you get up at the same time every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that um. Here's a mistake I think that, well, when I say some people, me, I make this mistake (laughs) or I have made this mistake straight up where I'll be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do that. I want to get up early, you know, uh, earlier, whatever. So I'll just wake up earlier and be tired throughout the day. But what I did is I didn't look at the big picture. I was like, oh, I'll just automatically be tired at night, you know. But what I did was I would laze through the day, skip workout, Oh. A lot of laying down oh, on the yeah. couch, you know, <laughs> a, a lot more than normal. And then, you know, you, don't, you basically since you're tired, you kind of adjust your activity oh, accordingly, yeah. you know, in a bad way. So you do just way less. And then nighttime comes, you're not as tired as, as you could have been if you just went about your normal routine. Sure, mm-hmm. you got to power through it a little bit harder for sure if you're on less sleep or whatever. But mm-hmm. at the end, when it comes time to sleep, which was your goal. It's going to be way more like it's going to happen way easier, you know, or it's going to happen. In my case, it just straight up doesn't happen. I'm freaking up late again. Can't go sleep, whatever. Yep. Got to be careful. So, yeah, do the normal routine. Don't be slacking. I got a little section on here on power naps. People are like, do you take naps? Yes, I do. If I'm super tired, but I and I explain the whole thing in here. Elevate your feet above your heart, which I learned from one of my high school teachers. And then I only sleep for like eight minutes. Yeah. And if you're really tired, eight minutes seems like you just got a full on massive amount of sleep. Yeah, remember we were talking about the two types of tired. There's like Oh yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. there's sleepy tired and then there's like physical fatigue. Yeah. Tired. And then you know what? It kinda in the whole eight minute nap thing, sometimes six minutes. It's almost like and this is all what do you call it? hypothesis? Mm-hmm. We'll call. We'll say that where <laughs> if like if you could just <laughs> like if you just did like a marathon freaking podcast or or you know after you do a podcast you mentioned mm-hmm. where you're kind of tired you know something that 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 required like cognitive effort for a somewhat sustained amount of time you you're not exhausted physically. But mentally, you might have mm-hmm. like this sharpness that you usually have is just dull mm-hmm. because like you're you're fo- like it's almost like a superficial yep. Yep. conscious, like cognitive, like a bit almost. That's what it almost seems like. So if I'm working on something on the computer, like admin mm-hmm. numbers or freaking stuff, not editing stuff like, you know, work for like three hours. And then it's workout time. I'm going to take one of those six minute, eight minute, oh, and it helps yeah, so yeah. much. Oh, yeah. Yep, for sure. But the thing is, like, six minute, eight minutes, what can what can possibly recover in that I amount don't know. of time? Try it, it it's though. something. It's though. real. Though. Oh, yeah, it's real. And it's like. You ever have a dream in eight minutes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Full on dreams. Oh, <laughs> and you ever have those little half dreams? Like, okay, so usually it happens. <laughs> it, Does your yes, body move? Right? Yes, but it's something very specific, though, where. Sometimes you just like feel like oh you just jump ran almost like oh no for me it's because someone's swinging a battle axe in my head in my yeah. dreams so I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense but yes it's it's that though it's something specific where like like the, the other day I was, I was I was getting one in and my son in my little dream it lasted literally like two seconds it's yeah. like a two second dream almost and my son like ran under my legs. And in I like your, had to in, jump in, in over dream. him oh, okay. in my dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I jumped, and I'm like, "That's what caused me to jump." But it was I remember it was my son ran under my legs. That See sounds a lot more pleasant than a battle axe. Yeah, a barbarian it, with a battle axe. Yeah, mine are kill you. Probably a lot different than yours for sure.